Hello there, um, my name is Hamza Rwama and I'm back here again to take you through uh, what we call uh, mechanics and um, like I said it is always good to subscribe to my channel that is the YouTube channel in case of any concern you pause the video and you go through what you want to go through again and also you can reach me out don't forget my contacts uh, Plus two five six seven eight two eight double five six seven four. Yeah, you can even reach me on WhatsApp. So with that, you can pause and have the number. We are still looking at what we call equilibrium of forces. Equilibrium. Forces. Earlier on, we discussed how we can see three forces handled, two forces handled. But what if we have more than those forces? If we have more than like three forces, more than four forces, you have six forces, how can we go about them? So, with that, remember I told you for a body to be in equilibrium, the resultant force must be zero, or the algebraic sum of forces in the horizontal is zero and the algebraic sum of forces in the vertical plane is supposed to also be zero so let's take a look at this illustration and we see how best we can handle more than one force so the example says example one forces of six newtons five newtons seven newtons eight newtons 5 newtons and 9 newtons act on a particle act on a particle in directions direction directions north 30 degrees east north 30 degrees west south 50 degrees east, south, 60 degrees west, north, 80 degrees east, and south, 40 degrees west, respectively. Find the addition of force that will keep the system in equilibrium. Find the addition of force that will keep the system in equilibrium. This means the system is not in equilibrium initially. And uh, when the question is asked to find the additional force, the force that can be added on the 6, 5, 7, 8, 5, 